Now, it was, of course, announced on a tweet. The most hotly anticipated flotation of the year, the social networking site Twitter is going public, although details of its share offering are being kept strictly private. Estimates suggest the company could be worth as much as £10 billion, but it's still unclear how far it can become profitable without destroying the free spirit that's made it so popular. Our business correspondent, Siobhan Kennedy, has this. It's one of the world's most recognised logos. Everyone relies on Twitter, from presidents and popes to celebrities and, well, you and me. But now Twitter has decided it's time to feather its own nest. The global social networking giant has announced, with a tweet of course, plans to go public by listing shares on the New York Stock Exchange. It's been the source of speculation for months, then last night this. We've confidentially submitted an S1 to the SEC for a planned IPO. That's techno speak for the legal form Twitter has filed with US regulators to tell them its plans to go public. Though unusually, Twitter, the supposed home of open communications, filed confidentially, taking advantage of a US law that allows it to keep all other details, like sales and profits, secret. It's been a busy year. Twitter has launched a new interface to make it more appealing to a mass market. Predictions are the company will make sales of nearly $600 million for 2013, and Twitter could be valued as high as $15 billion. Not bad for a seven-year-old startup. But then Twitter is hardly a startup. From its inception in 2006, it now has 240 million users worldwide and has galvanized social interaction and real-time news and views like no other. As the last big social networking site still privately owned, it was only a matter of time before Twitter went public. Some users will inevitably be worried that listing on a stock exchange will damage the very essence of Twitter, that going all corporate will destroy its entrepreneurial spirit. It's also not clear how Twitter will grow. Right now it relies on advertising revenue, but it will need to diversify its business to increase sales. Twitter has, has grown very quickly over the last few years, but the, the real question is, you know, is it going to make a leap from the kind of very popular but still relatively niche product to the kind of mass market uh, audience that uh, the likes of Google and Facebook have uh, uh, na now have? So, and, it, and it's not really clear that it's going to do that. Twitter's already going after Google and Facebook with mobile advertising, as well as plans to drive more e-commerce through the site and add video too. But one thing is clear, the public offering will be a boon for Twitter founders, Jack Dorsey, Evan Williams and Biz Stone, as well as the investors who've backed the company so far, and the banks of course. Twitter could be keeping stum on the details to avoid all the hype that tripped up Facebook's stock market debut last year. Its shares have only just begun to trade above the $38 they started at. By contrast, Twitter will want its shares to get off to a flying start. Siobhan Kennedy.